and get on with another Vololi classic. <laughs> This should go we go here today 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 we're doing it we're back here in our video oh my god if you're not subscribed you're still here we go thank you so, so, so much it's greatly appreciated i love you first of seeing you guys see my face oh my god where have you been welcome 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 don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell because you won't be disappointed in the comment i'll be to you i promise so without further ado guys we are here today to review the two new shades in this absolutely queen bitch collection that's come out with the blood lust not only that we've got five new the glass to review today i thought i would split out the videos because it's going to be long with all the swatches and that and i didn't want you guys to sit through a whole hour long video so this is why i split it into two i am not going to be viewing every single shade in here because literally only two shades are new but this is what queen bitch looks like it's from the blood lust collection it absolutely looks stunning there's two new shades in here all the other shades have been seen have been done before they've either been in other collections or they have been a standalone staple in the Jeffree Star Cosmetics line. I'm only going to be picking out Am Volga and Raw Armor. These are the two beautiful shimmers in here and we're going to show you guys what they look like. Then we're going to move on to the glass because there are five, I think these are limited edition i want to say limited edition so i'm going to say limited edition there are five limited edition the glosses and we're going to review those as well but before we do that let's get on with the velour liquid lipstick i just had to wipe off my lip gloss and i had a little bit of foundation there too so it's a good thing that i wiped it off so this is what they look like they're beautiful they are mini and i'm gonna go in with i'm vulgar first which is a beautiful pink shimmer shade and we're just gonna get into this honey let's go oh she pigmented she cute and this is she this is I'm vulgar so she went on like a dream she feels light I don't really feel her so that's good it's a beautiful color what can I say it's an absolutely stunning color actually absolutely stunning I hope they make this in a bigger component because your girl is feeling this oh she cute I like her mm-hmm mm-hmm yes sweetie let's wipe this off and get on with another low liquid lipstick now that's done we are going to move on to raw armor it's a beautiful shimmery lilac color and i cannot wait to get it on my lips let's go oh she's sheer i love her and if you guys are wondering just in case you didn't see my previous video i am wearing bloodlust on the eye that did two different looks for my first time i've never done that before i normally just stick to the one look but i wanted to see what else you could do you know but i will be bringing a lot more looks in the next coming weeks with the bloodlust palette because i feel like there's so much more you can do even a very simple everyday look this is definitely like a topper, I would say. Obviously, you can wear it alone, clearly. But with girls like me, who's got more pigmented lips, more brown, you might want to pull it over something. But that's obviously a personal choice. Me, I would wear it just like this because I think that looks stunning. And this is raw armor. She's cute and she actually goes with the whole aesthetic that I've got going on with the pink, you know what I'm saying? It looks good. I like it. Just so people, I don't know how people can stay. Oh my God, it's so sheer. Yes, it's sheer. But as you can see, it's sheer and pigmented to the guards, sweetie, because you can see that my lips are shining. You can see that they're pink. Just putting it out there because the things that go on Twitter, girl, oh my God, a lot of people just be moaning for no reason. I love this. Oh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to. I didn't want to wipe it off. <laughs> we need to move on to the gloss. Oh my God, this is what you guys have been waiting for. This is what I've been waiting for anyway. We have Wizard Glass, Sorcery, Sickening. Yes, we have Sickening and we have Lord Star and then we have Everdescent Throne. Okay, I have no idea which I'm going to go into first, but I'm going to open all of these because these are a little bit tricky to get out of the box. So I'm going to open all of these and then come back. This is what they look like.
And as you saw there, they're absolutely stunning. This is what they look like all in my hand, side by side. They are just, oh, everything. I love the purple top. I love that he makes it so personal when it comes down to the design of his stuff. We're gonna go in first with Sickening. Look at that, I just picked up Sickening because I am just sickening so this is sickening sickening is a beautiful iridescent purple it looks like it's got so many gold reflex in it and i just cannot wait to put it on my lips oh the familiar smell of candy floss is back baby let's go Ooh, they feel so good i've actually forgotten how good they are because i've got all the other glosses oh that soft, non-sticky feeling is so good for lip gloss. It feels like a nourishing cream, you know? And then your lips end up looking like glass, honey. So this is sickening. I like sickening. Sickening is beautiful and especially when it settles, you can see all of the gold. It's just reflecting off my lips. I absolutely love that. Let's see if we can put some light onto the lips and then turn down these lights a little bit. Just in case you can't see like the reflex. Sickening is absolutely beautiful. I love her. She is literally everyday wear for me because I love lip gloss. Let's go. That was so easy to wipe off. Oh my god, I am in love. The next, ooh, ooh, ooh. the next one that I pick up is called. Oh, she don't have a sticker. Her sticker's gone. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna have to gather sorcery, iridescent fern, Lord Star, and sickening. Who is the odd one? out wizard glass is the odd one out okay so she doesn't have a sticker she's rare sweetie she said i want to be different but at the end of the day a sticker ain't gonna stop these lips getting shiny sweetie this is she she is really oh she's got that brown that gold that red kind of shimmy like it shifts it's a color shift is it red is it gold is it green let's get this on my lips this is wizard glass my loves let's go do you know what I mean? She's iridescent. That iridescent. Oh, sweetie. Oh, they feel so good. They kind of feel different. Like maybe a different formula or more nourishing. Like as soon as you swipe it on your lips, you feel that kind of. Oh, wow. I absolutely love the dofa as well. It's long and beautiful. Oh, honey. I think Wizard Glass complements brown skin so well. This is Wizard Glass. Should we turn down the lights and give Wizard Glass her moment? Even my eyeshadow be popping. Oh, Flood Lust is that girl. I'm telling you. If you don't know, go watch my review. <laughs> So that was wizard, wizard glass. I'm finding it really hard saying wizard glass, wizard glass, wizard glass, wizard glass. I don't know why. It just sounds so weird to me. Is it wizards? Yeah, that's what it is. I'm saying wizard glass instead of saying wizards glass. Okay, so wizards glass is she, and she's absolutely stunning. Let's move on to Lord Star. That wiped off so fast. This is Lord Star, a beautiful pink iridescent moment. It's more crushed pink than an iridescent because definitely wizard's glass was an iridescent shimmer so let's see how she looks on these lips okay she's like pink glass oh my god she definitely looked like she got more pigment than the rest i am feeling that fantasy and this is lord star Should we give Lord Star his moment? So stunning. I absolutely love Lord Star. Wow. Okay. Lord Star is definitely more pigmented. You can see that it's pigmented, but it's still very sheer. Oh, my lip glass is popping. My lip glass is cool. <laughs> 
loving the pink vibes now i'm going to wipe this off and we're going to get into the last two the glass in this collection so we're down to the last two guys so the last two is sorcery and then you have iridescent glow iridescent glow looks white i'm guessing that's the whole iridescent feel normally it's a white and then like when you move it around you get that rainbow effect let's see what this does Ooh. and this is she what are you thinking should we see how iridescent it is oh now you can see it honey it's like wet glass with rainbow reflex basically and i'm here for it so stunning and i love the fact that you can see in person it's not just oh yeah you can only see it with the lights off i just want to give you that effect because obviously when we're in here with the beauty lights and stuff like that obviously certain things doesn't get conveyed to you guys the right way so that's why sometimes we turn on the lights so that you can see what it looks like with direct normal flash on it yes sweetie so far so good i'm loving all of them the last one is sorcery i hope i like this one it's kind of like a off peachy silvery peachy tone oh my lips is being battered as you can see my lips gone for it but i must admit they don't hurt i have tried out some brands as you guys already know on my channel that you need literally industrial stuff to get off your lips because it's so drying here we go this is sorcery let me get my beautiful mirror sweetie okay i was not expecting her to be popping like this now this is what i would say is iridescent or maybe it's sorcery because you think it's peach because that's what it looks like but as soon as i put it on my lips it's blatantly purple peach wear i think that's the reason why it's called sorcery because you're expecting i was expecting some light peach but honey this is pure purple that i'm putting on my lips you're seeing it for yourself yes it's a really nice purple too Ooh, honey. Sorcery is that girl. Sorcery is that bitch. Ooh, honey. Ooh, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. <laughs> no, but sorcery is really cute. Oh, sorcery has to have her moment. So sweet is cute, sweetie. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. They are all so, it's weird because obviously they're all the gloss. You might think that they look similar, but they are different. They are very uniquely different in their own sexy way, which to me, I thought they were gonna be very, very like the same because obviously it's like purple, bloodlust, da 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 da. How many purples can you do before it's just like, okay, cool. One purple lip gloss, do we really need five? When you think about it, not all of them are purple as you saw not all of them are the dark purple that you expect some of them are so light and subtle and that's what you want from a lip gloss if i wanted a very strong pigmented color on my lips i would just go for a velour liquid lipstick because that's what lipsticks are there for it's very hard or very rare to find a sheer lipstick unless it's a lip emanation from jeffree star but that's the reason why they're not called velour liquid lipsticks is because they are on the sheer side and you can use them as topper because they've got a lot of glitter in it to make any kind of lip that is just a matte pop that's the whole reason for them apart from that you're not really gonna go for a lipstick that is non-pigmented that is sheer you're gonna go for a lipstick that is pigmented or in a nice light tone that you like but it's still gonna be pigmented sweetie it's not gonna be sheer when it comes down to lip glosses that's what you want you want the sheer i do anyway i want the sheer a little bit of color nice wet look nice wet lips shiny maybe a little sparkle here and there depending on my mood and this is what the gloss gives you every the gloss gives you this i may add like they all have that beautiful iridescent shimmery kind of feel to them and i absolutely love that his glosses have been my favorite since the gloss came out because i love a wet lip if someone said choose lipstick over lip glosses it will be lip glosses for me so these are a staple in lip gloss they're non-sticky they go on like a dream they feel so nice 
nourishing you don't get that weird sliminess you don't need to put on that much with me i got big lips so i put on as much as i can because i want my lips to be covered i want my lips to be drowning in it sweetie i don't want to be reapplying every five minutes you feel me back to these these are absolutely stunning and i hope that they come back again because i heard that they're on limited edition you guys really need to get your hands on at least one of these because these are stunning sweetie now is it worth your money honey if you are in the us of a these are 18 dollars each that will set you back but if you are in the uk these are 16 pounds each is it worth your money honey to get all of them no obviously if you're not like someone like me who does reviews or you're not an mua or you're not really into lip gloss one is definitely enough go and get the ones that suit you go and get the one that float your boat because 16 pound for a lip gloss is on the dare side and 18 dollars for a lip gloss is on the dare side but obviously you're paying for the experience as well sweetie and there's a lot of product in here there's 4.5 mils in here that is 0.15 fluid ounces that is a lot of products when it comes down to lip glosses anyway obviously you're gonna pay a little bit more for that not only that it's the formula itself it is non-sticky non-drying doesn't give you that weird disgusting ring like you have been doing certain things that you shouldn't be doing all day with your mouth it doesn't do all of those weird stuff so you are paying for the formula as well i don't feel personally you should go out there and get them all but if you're someone like me who will use them who uses only lip glosses literally every day with, with makeup or without makeup i use lip glosses then these are something that i will definitely go and buy and i feel it's worth my money for me does it go into Rico's bag of tricks yes ma'am it goes into Rico's bag of tricks i absolutely love it i absolutely love it you know already that those are going in my bag of tricks because at the end of the day i love purple i love lip glosses i love those type of Thing. so this is literally just screaming my name now if you are in the uk if you want the queen bitch collection the queen bitch collection will cost you 45 pounds and if you're in the us of a the queen bitch collection will set you back 52 dollars with these collections apart from their quality collection if you guys know about that it's like a rainbow collection it has a all sorts of rainbow velour liquid lipsticks and it's absolutely stunning if you don't have that and it's available go and get it because literally those colors can be used for eyeliner they can be used for eyeshadow they can be used obviously on your lips because that's what they are used for but they're literally vegan and you can use them anywhere and if you are an artist like myself those will come in so handy apart from that though all of these collections that i know of also have the big sisters to these i.e there's a bigger counterpart to these these are literally the mini but you will find the bigger versions in his store is it worth your money if you want to try all these colors out obviously i would say go and get the minis any mini is good to get because it's kind of like try before you actually invest a lot of money in the bigger product so i would definitely go out there and say if you are interested in this color story with like i was definitely go and get them if you're just interested in the two little minis that are in here paying 45 pound for the two that are new that will never be made again unless it's in this box set is it worth your money for that i don't think so because 45 pound and 52 dollars is a lot of money and if you're only buying that for these two that are in there then there's no point you might as well just go and get one or two or three of the other ones that are in there that you like and call it a day because 45 pound for two minis is on the their side but as i said if you want the whole collection and you want to get these limited edition ones that are also in there that don't have the big counterpart to this then absolutely go and do that because they are stunning as of now though they are sold out everywhere as of now so are the lip glosses they are also sold out unfortunately i couldn't get my hands on the extreme fast choking on ice because that sold out in like literally five seconds it was just gone and i was too busy trying to get everything else that i wanted from the collection to really go back to jeffree star's web page because that's the only way that you could have got the choking on ice yesterday because it was exclusive to jeffree star cosmetics unfortunately i don't have that but if it does come back i will definitely try to get that i will do a review on it because i got gag me from the last extreme for us and believe me that stuff is insane it is literally glowing to the guards if there is literally extra 
terrestrial life out there put that highlighter on and you are contacting somebody because it is beaming it is blinding it is absolutely out of this world it is iridescent it's otherworldly i've never used a highlighter like it so i was really gutted that i couldn't get the extreme frost purple version choking on ice but when i do i will come back and review it for you guys it's going into rika's bag of tricks for me because i don't have most of these minis i do have some i definitely do have um roll tea i have clout but i don't have berries on ice i don't have virginity because virginity isn't my aesthetic it's a very creamy type color and if i put that on my lips with my type of skin it would look really bad it'll look like i got concealer on my lips that's why i don't have this one and scorpio is something that i'm into right now i wasn't doing the brows i wasn't doing the nudie patooties at all this is why i thought it's worth it for me even though i do have this one and i do have this one at the end of the day i don't have the rest so i got two that i have and the rest one two three four five six six out of eight i don't have so this was definitely worth it for me and also i had to buy the straws guys because all my days so freaking cute oh Oh my god I am so gagged like I cannot wait to be sipping my Red Bull with my nice purple straws and just living my best life this has been so amazing the lip gloss has been on for a minute now and as you can see no white disgusting marks no nastiness just normal rich beautiful plump lips yes it's been your girl Rika Yama's like your hair mm-hmm this one that you love that only anybody needs my darling i'll catch you yes you the one that came to your end of the video handy girl my honey bunny my sweetie my everything and i'll catch you my darling on another video <laughs>